Okay. So now, so um, so the reason why our people do things ignorantly is because we're taught that these things from birth. We're taught these things from birth, and as we're taught from birth, we carry the traditions on. And by carrying the traditions on, this is how we keep things going on and keep things going in the system without understanding that we are committing idolatry. Michael! Thank you. You made, you messed up my, my concentration. Sorry about that, y'all. I can't think. You know, my, you know how I am. I'm talking about, I'm trying to say something. My, my mind gets thrown off. So, um... As I was saying, see, throwing me off my con concentration. So, as I was saying, that people, people, uh, um, people are doing these things, uh, 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 keeping these traditions up um, idly. They're actually um, committing idolatry, and idolatry is worshiping other gods. And I'm gonna get back to reading chapter 16. I'm at the end of uh, verse 11. Right now, and this is where we're at. And this actually going to go down into talking about the traditions and stuff that's going on today. Um, and it says, and ye, verse 12, and ye have done worse than your fathers. For behold, ye walk everyone after the imagination of his evil, of his evil heart. And that they may not hearken unto me, meaning unto the law. Therefore will I cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not. I mean, he going to cast you into a land that you don't know nothing about, which is our ancestors. They cast us as Israel, not they, the father has cast us out of our land into a land that we know not, which is all across the earth. Therefore, I will cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not, neither ye, you, nor your fathers. And there... Shall ye serve other gods? It's about 12 o'clock. All right. So we not, now we know it's 12 midnight. It's the 29th now. But as I was about to say, um, at first 13, Therefore I will cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not, neither ye nor your fathers, and there shall you serve other gods. Day and night, where I will not show you favor. So what has happened to us all these years? It already been prophesied that he's going to send us into a land um, that ye know not, and there ye should serve, and there ye should be in bondage 400 years. And after that, after that, he's going to judge that nation. And after that, he's going to bring us out with great substance. That's Genesis chapter 15. Y'all get time to talk about, if y'all get time to understand that, that uh, 400 years from 1619 to 2019, the judgment of the nation is going on now. The judgment, not only that nation, which is the earth, that nation is the Roman Empire that we are in. So this is where we're at right now. So by being in this nation, the Roman Empire, which is world renowned under the maritime admiralty law, the law of waters, the law of the seas, this is where we are. This is where we're standing now. And a lot of people don't know, nor do they realize that. So by being in this situation, this is prophecy happening right now. And that's what I go by. If you go by prophecy, like I'm saying, the brother that I saw earlier when I was out making sales, you know, I was sharing with him all the things we was going through. I was also telling him about indexing and where we're going and growing in this day and time right now as well. By we're coming out of the system. If you have a birth certificate, social security card, an ID card in this system pertaining to this system, which everybody that was born was born in the hospital. If they wasn't born in the hospital, if they end up getting a birth certificate and a social security card, you are slaves and cattle slavery, cattle and chattel slavery to this system. By being chattel slavery to this system, you are on this system owns you. Whether you know it or not, I don't care where you are in any different type of religion, uh, sect, um, or whatever it is you call yourself. If you still have ties to this system with a birth certificate, social security card, and ID card, 
the system still owns you. Unless you know how to stand, as they say, on your square. You can stand on your square, but if you ain't got no paperwork backing up who you are, land, some people say nationality. If you don't have these things proclaiming who you are, where you're from, and your identity, they own you. And just like I was telling the brother as well earlier today, as I was telling the, the brother as well earlier today, if you're an NBC, if you're a nigger, black, colored, uh, um, um, African American, whatever name, you're nothing but a byword and a proverb, which is not really you, because those those don't have an identity. Black is a color, not a people. Same thing with white. They're a color, not a people. But see, we've been so brainwashed and we think what we think is right don't mean that it's right. That's the reason why you can't go into a law, into a courtroom and handle your own case. Because you're not speaking correct words. Uh, Black's Law Dictionary ain't wrong. We'll be right here, but it's not, so I ain't going to get up and look for it. But yet and still, need to get Black's Law Dictionary if you need that information. But just like I was sharing, not only with the brother on the phone, but also with the brother when I was out making sales earlier today, we are diplomatically immune, and we don't even have to use all the words to go into it. We don't even have to go in their courtroom. We don't even have to go in We don't have to pay their fines when it comes to uh, 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 running, even though we shouldn't be running street, uh, uh, stop signs and, and uh, red lights anyway. There's an ordinance that we should be taking care of ourselves. But just saying, a broken tail light, uh, but not having insurance, all this stuff is illegal. It's illegal if you have, if they're giving you ticket and extracting funds from you, it's illegal because you haven't broken a crime. You haven't broken a law that causes to be a crime. A crime is only if a law is broken. A lot of people don't even know the law. And this is the problem we have today. So this is where we are. Hey, Rochelle, how you doing? I see you watching. I'm going to say hey. I see a couple of people up, up top. Got kind of people waved. I don't see anybody saying anything up there on uh, Instagram. But yet and still, just sharing information and giving understanding. In all you're getting, get an understanding. This is the reason why it's time to repent. And the meaning of repent means to change. Change your mindset. Change your thought pattern. Change the way you live. Change the way you eat. Change your thoughts. And the more you start to do that, the more you will start to see clearly. The more you start to research. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people like getting out there partying and playing when really everything is being shut down. And every, all this stuff is happening for a purpose and for a reason. And by these things happening for a purpose and for a reason, it's to wake you up. It's time to start research. It's time to start being a grown-up. Stop looking for handouts for the system. The system will only give you handouts because you'll keep going to them until you get that vaccination. And that vaccination is the end. It's the end of your spiritual spiritualness as well. You'll be owned by the system. So I'm just going to go back to the, to the scriptures of what I've just shared. At the end of uh, verse 13, it said, Ye shall serve other gods day and night. Let me go back to the beginning of 13 of verse 16 of chapter 16 in Jeremiah. And what it says is, therefore, will I, this is Jeremiah chapter 16. I'm at verse 13, starting at verse 10, but I'm at verse 13 now. Therefore, will I cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not, you know not, neither you nor your fathers, and there shall you serve other gods day and night where I will not show you favor. That's been going on this land for these last 400 years or 2,000 years, however you want to call it, since we've been here. This is stuff we've been going through, if y'all understand that. We've been going through hell and turmoil all this time. This is the reason why Israel 
Not one man, but Israel as a nation has been going through the things we've been going through. This is prophecy upon us as a nation, not one man, as a nation of people. I'm going to get to some more information on that in a few minutes. It's hit me now, but I'm going to wait. Verse 14. There's something down here I want you to understand because this right here is where we're coming to. But we're not going to get there yet because there's something down here. And this is why people know, people need to understand how to read when they're reading something. Because they read something, they just read it through. And they read it as they go. And it's things they miss as they're reading. Because once you come across something, there's going to be something else to show you if something going to happen before that time. And I'm giving you understanding at this point in time right now. So, verse 14 says, Therefore, behold, the days come. See, the days come saith the Lord, our Father, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. It ain't going to say that no more. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, it ain't going to be said in these days and time, that liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But, verse 15, but, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. What land do we have that's called north in the world today? The only land in the north that's called north today is North America. North America. This is the land of the north. And actually, North America is actually a part of Canada. United States and Canada. Canada is part of North America as well. But well, we call this part of North America the United States. But the Lord lived that brought up the children of, the Israel, of Israel from the land of the north and from the lands and from the land of the from, and from the lands uh, from all the lands whether he has driven them. That's all over the earth. Let me go over that again. Verse 15, but the Lord liveth that brought up, up that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whether he has driven them. See, the father did that. The father is telling you that he did that. And I will bring them again into their land, and I that I gave unto their fathers. He's telling you right now what he's gonna do in a latter time. In the latter day, he's telling you what he's going to do. And what he just said again, verse 15. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whether he had driven them. And I and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. So he's saying in a certain time, he's going to bring us back into the land he gave to his father, to a to our fathers, our ancestors. But it's something here I want y'all to understand after this. Not after this, before this, but it's saying it after this. Verse 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rock. Now, what would the hunters and fishers be? The father said he's going to send, so they're going to be his servants. Me, I'm going to be prophets and servants that's going to be out here doing the things they're doing, waking the people up, right? Verse 17, for mine eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face. Neither is there iniquity hid from mine eyes, meaning their sin. It's not hidden from the eyes because it's, he said, he said that um, mine eyes are upon all their ways. Everything that y'all doing, the father already know. Pause this real quick. Verse 18. 